This is how to skate 4,000 kilometers in one summer and why it's a terrible idea. A little bit of background, training was going great last summer. Came up with the idea to skate 2,600 kilometers, give myself a distance challenge, seemed innocent enough. And let me tell you, distance challenges are always a slippery slope. We'll circle back to that later. Right now, how? So how, if you wanna skate 4,000 kilometers in one summer, this is how I did it. Before we get to the how, you probably want some proof. There's a link in the description to my Strava, which has Every single skate I did last summer, I recorded with GPS just over 4,000 kilometers. The proof is there if you wanna see it. I know I would. So the how. The first thing is, if you wanna skate some crazy distance, you need good skates, comfortable skates. And I recommend multiple pairs because you wanna switch it up because you're going to need to skate every day. To skate 4,000 kilometers last summer, I used a pair of Macroblade 100 3WDs. I used a pair of K2 VO2 S100s, and I used a pair of Macroblade 80s, where my go-to skates. Now, I have other pairs of skates that I skate once in a while, like these garbage ones right here, but those three pairs I named were the pair that I used weekly, daily. Skates make a huge difference. You need skates that are comfortable for your feet, that are comfortable for your knees and hips and joints, and that you're used to. You want to have good wheels. There's a direct correlation between how far and how fast you can skate and how good your skates are, how good your wheels are, and how good your bearings are. If you're trying to skate 4,000 kilometers on a pair of 80 millimeter skates with ratty old wheels and bearings that need grease, it is going to be 10 times as hard as someone who is sailing down the pathway on 100 millimeter wheels with ABEC 9 or ILQ 9 Classic Plus bearings. The difference is vast. So once you have good skates, bearings, and wheels, you need an excellent path. You want a straight path with minimal elevation. Unfortunately, where I live in Calgary, every single path has a minimum of 150 meters of elevation gain per 20 kilometers. I cannot find a path that has less than 150 meters of elevation gain. And that is gonna kill your distance. So if you're lucky enough to live in a city by the ocean where the path is flat, you're gonna get way more distance than you will in a hilly area. So find a good path with a good skating surface too. And a, a route with minimal turnarounds, with minimal obstacles, with minimal people and shit in your way. That's another big thing. On the path I go on, it's a high speed bike path. So for the most part, except on weekends, it's pretty clear sailing. The next how is progressively increasing your distance. At the start of the summer, I only skate every other day. 10 kilometers, doesn't matter your body, you need to gently ease it into this. So I started 10 kilometers every other day in March. Then I progressed to every day, 10 kilometers one day, five the next, 10 kilometers, five the next. Once you get that down, then I ratcheted up to 10 kilometers every single day, and then 15 kilometers every other day in 10. And then you see how it just builds from there. Eventually I got to the point where I was skating 20 kilometers every day, at which point I found the distance of diminishing returns to, I would either do break my skates into twice a day, so I'd skate 20 kilometers in the morning, 20 kilometers in the evening, or I can only do one big 30 to 40 kilometer skate per day. But I do find breaking them into two separate skates in the day let me go a lot further, a lot faster. Now skating over 2,000 kilometers in one summer, you have to slow down. This is the thing about long distance inline skating goals. There are people out there on Strava who can skate 10,000 kilometers in one year, but they have to decrease their pace so low to you know 12 to 13 kilometers per hour, which is probably the intensity of going for a really mellow walk. So you gotta ask yourself, is this, is this even good training at this point? And the answer of course is no. And that is why it's dumb to give yourself an insane long distance goal for the summer. If your objective is to be healthy, fit, and strong, long distance goals are bogus. And that's why it's a terrible idea to skate more than 2,000 kilometers in one summer, in my opinion, in my experience. Last summer, my training was going great. I was doing intervals on my inline skates. I was building muscle and burning fat. If you go back and watch my old videos in June, July, I was looking pretty lean and awesome and feeling great. And that's because I was training intelligently. The day I gave myself this long distance challenge, my diet went to shit because you start out training terrible eating practices and you create an insatiable appetite. When you skate 20 kilometers in the morning and 20 kilometers in the evening, you eat whatever you want and you stay slim. The only problem is you get to 2,600 kilometers and then you say, now I want to do 3,000. I'm so close. 400 kilometers. What's another 400 kilometers, right? You get to 3,000 kilometers and you say 3,500. It's right there. And you end up pushing yourself right to the day, at least in Canada, where it snows and you can no longer skate. 
And then you've got this 6,000 calorie a day diet habit that worked perfectly when you were doing two and a half hours of cardio a day. But when that comes to a screeching halt, good luck reining that in is all I can say. It didn't work for me. I gained a ton of weight. Yeah, I skated 4,000 kilometers in one summer, but really, who cares? After it's done, a few people on Strava were like, good job, great. It was satisfying for all of 20 minutes. And then I was left trying to rein in this crazy diet and I gained a ton of weight. And the other thing is to inline skating is such a great cardio activity because it is so low impact on your joints. But I did start to develop tendonitis in my knees, which is crazy. And that is from overuse. That is from bad training practices. That is from skating the same distance over and over and over again. Every single day, the same distance, the same speed, the same pace. You don't switch it up. It's not healthy for the body. Intelligent training is switching up your pace, switching up your duration, and switching up the intensity. Doing short, fast bursts one day, interval training. The next day, go long. Try and maintain a 20 kilometer pace for a full hour. And then the day after that, do some interval training, switch it up. The problem with giving yourself a long distance goal is you get railroaded into this mentality of just chasing as much distance as you can possibly do, and it's not healthy. So I hope you found this video useful. That is how you can skate 4,000 kilometers or more in one year. Just get really awesome skates, go really slow, and stuff your face. Will I be chasing another long distance goal this year? Absolutely not. I don't give a single shit how many kilometers I skate this year. This year, I am going for total fitness. If your goal is to skate four to 5,000 kilometers in one summer, power to you, good luck. You can do it easily. Just adjust your pace, get really comfy skates, and find an awesome pathway with the least amount of hills you can. You'll have no problem grinding out four to 5,000 kilometers, none at all. That being said, it is not intelligent training. I do not recommend giving yourself these absurd long distance goals because the satisfaction of completing them is so fleeting. It's counterproductive to your overall fitness, chasing some absurd long distance goal, and you might get some followers on Strava. People on YouTube might think it's sweet, but at the end of the day, that all goes away so fast. What doesn't go away quickly is having a fit, healthy, strong body. And you get that by training intelligently, not by getting into pissing matches on Strava with people who have $500 skates, perfect bearings and wheels, and skate on flat pathways at a geriatric pace. Thanks a lot for watching, in all seriousness. If you have a super crazy long distance goal and you're hell bent on doing it and you have any other questions on how, I'm more than happy to answer them. Let the questions rip. It's really easy to do, anyone can do it. Just be careful, skate intelligently, keep your diet in check. Don't eat a pint of Ben & Jerry's every single day just because you can like I did. Thanks for watching and happy skating.